All right, welcome back to For Fossil Sake, everybody. Today we are going to explore a new spot with you, so come with us and enjoy a Cretaceous seam up the far north of New Zealand. Something, but something. <laughs> Just like fish. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you want to pick it up? Look at my hand. Wow. Get it in mine. That's a good one. I'll take that. <laughs> I've got one here. When you hit these, and if they don't open quick yeah. enough, they are not. This one's got something in it. might want to leave this too big for me, man, but I'm just going to get some little examples today. You don't got one. Let's go with those. Shoot it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. Cool. My first one. Cross section. Oh yeah. You might be able to um, put that back together for us. Oh yeah, for sure. <coughs> Clean break. No, I was thinking that was a bar right <coughs> oh, conclusion. That one's gonna be a bit. Not that one. What's that? So. Yeah, know. well, it's something. It's, um, <laughs> it's something. It's it's it? something in it, and <laughs> I would say it would put him being a buck, you like, and that's right. Have a look at that. Clean. No, you didn't. That's been broken for ages. Look. <laughs> That's a perfect crack. <laughs> what have you found, Em? I found an ammonite. What? Yeah. can see there. Hold it real still. Yeah, nice. What? You can see the whirls. See over here, this is part of a baculite or an animal. You can see the chambers coming in there. It's a pretty good one. Um, so these pebble, oh, so these are fossiliferous, these little pebbles too. It's possible. I haven't been here much. I come on a geology trip and we didn't do a heck of a lot of see here. You don't do much um smashing them right there. Shaped by the wind. Did you find 
Yeah. And while the boys are fossiling, and the girls have made, what have you made? Um, a crab house and this, this is where they have shelter. We made another shelter place here and this is where the dead crabs go. Oh, are they dead crabs? Yeah, dead crabs. Oh, okay. oh and see you have to make sure that the There's one shells don't come off the crabs. But we just found that one with the shell not on the crabs. So that one's fine. Nice, it's called Tinas. <laughs> What are you happy? <laughs> no, no, I'm f not happy at all. Look at you shaking me. Oh, I thought you were bloody talking about a big one. <sighs> I'm sure <laughs> they're not so bad. Uh, I'm going to carry so much. <laughs> they're really cool, like interesting that's colours, so aren't they? Beautiful. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Can you stand like that? Ah, thanks, Liz. Don't worry, mate. Who will we do at Bald Point? We Save that iridescence with that beautiful colour. Is there anything you want to chuck some glue on? Or? Do you want to use some paraloid for that? Does that need paraloid on it now? What have you been looking for, Em? Um, that cure and And how how are you finding them here on the shore? you guys enjoyed our field trip um, out to one of the rare Cretaceous beaches in the North Island um, of New Zealand. Um, it's quite an interesting place with not a lot of information so we're actually trying to find out what we found but I'm gonna have a have a look now and I'll show you what we found. I've had some time to clean up a few of these bits we found some interesting pieces um, so yeah let's have a look. <clears throat> okay so this is um pretty much all the stuff that we got that I could work and have a look. Absolutely wonderfully preserved, look at that. Over 65 million years old, and look at that. Unbelievable. So that's really cool. One of the kids was actually lucky enough to find a Cretaceous bit of wood which is very cool. So this is actually a piece of wood. 
back to the camera and we'll focus. And that's a bit of wood there. Nice Cretaceous wood. That should show little pyrite squares. Absolutely amazing. Now this guy here is a tiny little crab claw, as you can see. And um, this was one of the hardest things I've ever worked. Just trying to get it in focus for you all. And um, I was lucky enough to actually get the whole back of him in there. The carapace, as you can see the center line coming through. So, that is a tiny little Cretaceous crab. This crab's name is Torinoma flemingi, which is, um, this is apparently the second ever recorded um, record of the species, um, which is amazing. So that's how rare this is. This is the second ever recorded crab of this species. It was um, described by Gleisner in the 60s, actually. So. It's been a gap in a fair while in, in the Hokianga Harbour in Northland is where it was found, but this one was in a little bit of a different area. So very, very pleased with this rare, rare, very rare crab actually. So here is um, a second crab from that beach that will this day. Um, this is the third known um, of this species or it could be a new species again but either way very very rare and very exciting so I'll have to have a look and see if I'm brave enough to work it so as you can see here this ammonite here is um, it's actually quite strange if you look at this uh, most of the other ones are Kitchenites and Gustus but um, this one here is so thin look how thin that shell is and it's it doesn't have the ridges like the other ones it's almost as thin as a nautiloid but it's definitely definitely looks like an ammonite um, but it could be a new species so that's very exciting um, and if you look here you can see the suture patterns that ammonites have um, just starting there as well so very cool all right, well, here are the uh, main event, the Ammonites. This is Kitchenites angustus, which is a good old Latin name. Um, this is the one that Corey found. He had a cracker every day. He found uh, probably three Ammonites, a couple of Baculites. Some iridescent stuff, which I haven't actually been able to get yet um, to have a look at or sort of get on the tools. But on um, this one here, when I worked this one, all I could really go off was this little bit by the thumb. So I told Corey not to hit it. And it was a good job because they're really fragile. So, as you can see, it does look very cool. And uh, this is the second one that he found. And this one's actually crystallized all the way through on the inside. Um, it's real beautiful quality um, for Cretaceous ammonites, which we've not found before. We've found a lot of Jurassic ammonites, but never the Cretaceous ones. So these are very, very special, really. Um, very cool. Now we get into where my dad found some. So I thought that had actually fallen out. So it looks like the ammonite was in there and then fell out. But So we didn't have much hope. But then when I'd hit it, my dad had actually found quite a nice little, nice little ammonite there. It's in the inner chambers, you see. He also found this beautiful piece of an ammonite, which is cool. And in this little egg, as you can see, it had a little piece here that fell off an ammonite. So we thought, well, maybe not. But when we hit it open, there's actually a cross section of one in there, <laughs> a cross section of one just there. Now, 
interesting story about this. This is a back here light. And as you can see on the back here light, you can see these chamber patterns. Those are suture patterns. As you can kind of see those suture patterns. And then the interesting thing is, is of this back here light, I found this when I was about 12 years old in Mozambique. And um, it's probably one of my first fossils that I ever found. Um, whilst I was doing my scuba courses off the coast. And this kind of got me into it as well as a couple of other fossils. And here, as you can see, is the same suture lines. And these are the maculites we've been finding on this trip. So this one's got some really cool ones. Um, shows up so those are the suture patterns the classic that ammonites and bacchialites have it's a good identifying mark and it actually tells you what species they are as well and there's a big chunk if I turn it over you can actually see the chambers so it's basically like a long squid and then out this end is where it's little frilly bits come out This is the last piece. Um, well, last small piece before the big bits at the back there. This is actually Cretaceous bone. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but those are blood cuticles going in there. That's the wall of the bone. Now that we've cleaned it. And that's a cross section. Now, the reason on the video why I said dinosaur was more because Dinosaurs obviously have hollow bones because they're related to birds, especially the land terrestrial smaller dinosaurs, not all of them. But <clears throat> this is a good indicator anyway of either a small leg bone or a limb joint or a toe bone of a theropod or something like the penguin type. Penguins have a very similar um, shape bone and they're quite related to those theropod type creatures. So anyway, we got a 3D cast, which is quite cool. And um, we're gonna send this away. And we've also got a full scan of it, which will be able to tell them quite a lot more. But this could be one of the 20 dinosaur bones in New Zealand. Found by Anna, which is very, very exciting. And we will keep you posted. Now, this here is a Ventifact. Now, as you can see, there's a little ridge right down the middle there, right? Probably like that, it's better. Now, the cool thing about these things, these Ventifacts, is that they were always pointing north, okay? North. And whichever side was more worn was whichever coast it's on. So if you've got the westerly coast and you've got the westerly winds smashing it up, so this one where it was on the west coast, that's right. So, so just checking. So this is the one Anna found. She found two that day. But the wind blows this and the sand, sand blasts these rocks every day for thousands of years. Right, it's got a little bit of an easterly there, but not too much. And it creates this ridge. <clears throat> these are very cool because back in the day you could tell where north was because obviously whatever coast you were on, you could find these rocks and they were always pointing north. The other thing that was quite cool is that they are some of the hardest rock I've found in New Zealand, actually, these Ventifacts. Not all of them, but some of them are, that's why they, they don't crumble and take ages. So these are very hard rocks and they'll stay like this for a long time. So they're very special to find, actually, um, these shaped Ventifacts. Um, once you take them out of place, they kind of out of situ. These we only took because they were on the beach, so they kind of are out of situ anyway. Um, we also found this, which is really heavy. Um, not 100% sure what it is. It kind of looks like a shell, you know? Like, kind of looks like it. But I don't know if it's a fossil. It's got like crystal in the middle there. Almost like an ammonite. Um, but I don't actually know what it is. So, there you go, mystery, but it feels like iron, like she's pretty heavy.